The day I was elected presiding bishop, a man walked up to me in the hall and said, now, don't you wear dangly earrings. <laughs> it's just... It confronted his image of what was proper and appropriate. In your holy name, we pray. Amen. Amen. The Bible says many things about women's roles. The reality is that everybody cherry picks. If we're faithful, we keep looking, and that ultimately might transform our view of the role of every human being. Brothers and sisters in Christ, greet the 26th presiding bishop. Women were first ordained in 1974 in an irregular event, and then the church voted in 1976 to permit and encourage women to be ordained. I think it was a real challenge for women. I've heard horror stories about some of them being bitten, being spat on, called every name in the book. Conflict is a sign of possibility. It's not just negative, and many, many people see it as something to be avoided. But we can't grow, we can't change without conflict. The recent decision of the Church of England to finally open the doors for women bishops has brought great rejoicing. It has also brought reflections about what else? What should bishops wear? What I hear from others is that seeing a woman in this particular role expands people's imaginations. The image of God is broader and more diverse than anything any human being can imagine. And if we can't model the image of God in its diversity, we're not reading the Bible, I think, in its fullness.